Welcome to our honored guests, Mr. Sean Kirst, Mr. Oren Lyons, and Ms. Ruth Colvin. Welcome to the chairperson of our board of trustees, Dr. Robert Turner, and to all our trustees, regents, and alumni. Welcome to our distinguished faculty and staff. Welcome to the Golden Alumni, class of 1968. And I welcome the family and friends of our graduates, and of course, a very warm welcome to the class of 2018. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is a particularly special graduation for me. <laughs> In July 2014, I became president of Lemoyne College. Two short months later, the class of 2018, all of you joined me on campus. We've traveled through these four years together. I will never forget you. I want to say so much about you, about your exceptional scholarship, about your triumphs on our playing fields, about the way in which you've stood up and spoken out against injustice, about how hard you've worked, and about how you've cared for your family and your friends. As much as I want to say, and believe me, there's a lot I could say, I think I will leave you with just one thought. But first, how many of you brought your cell phones with you? Lift them up. Lift them up. Don't you love these things? I do. Go ahead. Take a picture. Take a picture. I know you want to. Go ahead. Take a picture. I'll take a selfie with you. All right, now, put them away. Put them down. That phone, all the miracles it represents, has its limits. A Lemoyne College graduate will never accept the virtual as a replacement for the real. Never accept a tweet as a replacement for a conversation. I want you to stay connected, not just to us here on the Heights. I want you to stay connected to everyone, to everything that surrounds you, even the rain. I began this year by hosting a panel on civil discourse. We brought in local politicians with different political views and asked them to model productive conversation and share their expertise on respectful dialogue. St. Ignatius, founder of the Jesuits, believed that the way we speak to each other matters and that conversation is an art. It is a turning towards the other person that changes us. Dialogue and engagement are themes we've continued throughout the year in classrooms, labs, the chapel, the library, residence halls, and athletic fields. In the coming years, you will become teachers, physicians, authors, entrepreneurs, and my advice to you is to honor all that you've learned here on the Heights. Do not become indifferent to the people around you. Seek out diverse ideas and perspectives. Build relationships. Or as our commencement speaker, Ruth Colvin, might say, collect people the way others collect stamps or coins. And you know how to do this. Relationships are what shaped your time here at Lemoyne. From your exceptional professors who taught you how to formulate and share your opinion, to mentors who guided you through obstacles, to your friends and classmates who you fought and reconciled with, who you laughed and bonded with. Lemoyne has prepared you for the difficult conversations and challenging times ahead. We've equipped you with the knowledge and skills to not just be successful, but to transform our world. I have no doubt that you will. Of course, none of that will happen if you don't remember to take a risk, risk a conversation, but speak your mind with kindness and love. Occasionally, put down the phone. I am so proud of this class, so proud to be the one handing you your diploma. 
Good luck, class of 2018, my class, and may God bless you. I love you.